you take the entire tabletop off and then you flip it upside down and you can see the screw holes where the screws are supposed to go what we're, what we're going to do here is we're trying to look for just the corner where the bevel starts and you can kind of guesstimate that um, the best thing to do is use a T, a T square you come in, you find your point and then let's get a straight line going on each side you can see the one down there the one down there you know, coming up there you know, excuse the putty the putty is wood putty that I just had a really jagged jigsaw blade so I ended up cutting uh, further into the wood than I needed to so anyway I'll straighten all that out with a sander but uh, once you get your line across we can come back up to the top here and you want to take one of the side rails <clears throat> and position it to where it's laying right on the right on the side here and uh, you'll see that it comes in you know too much of an arc you know to where it can't fit you know and you'll see that on both sides but you want that arc to follow along perfectly you know on the sides until it can't go any further then simply draw a line you know of where it finally joins back in you know to the arc that's already on the board and as you can see you know uh, it only leaves it it leaves its join in about here you know and then comes out about here all right and that's where we need to notch in <clears throat> and you can see when you actually lay the board or laid the side one of the sides up that uh, you can see the exact amount that you would need to remove in order to uh, get the corners to fit you know it's uh, actually pretty simple um, and again you can do all this in pencil and erase it and start all over again and, but uh, you come in and you know what I did is I just uh, while that board was on there you know and you could see where it imposed on the desktop all I did was simply just trace that you know trace that edge you know on both sides and then I came over took the other side did the same thing and then all that's necessary is for you to come in with a jigsaw and just jigsaw this portion out. Um, you know, you just, I just started very gently, came in here, you know, and then came in here, and the piece drops out. <clears throat> you don't need to, you know, get creative with the corner and make it round. You know, you can do that with putty later if you want to, which I'm kind of doing. Um, and you'll say, well, look, that's all flat, and this is beveled. Well, <clears throat> I have you know you can see the pencil line I have this much more you know room to play with so with a sander I'm gonna come and I'm gonna put that bevel back on this piece to match this you know match this and uh, yeah we'll be back for the uh, next uh, installment and let me note when cutting these out that, you know, trace your lines, you know, get your cut marks where you think they should be, and you know, um, and you can make smaller cuts, you know, than you need to at first. Uh, you know, get your rough cuts actually drawn out with a pencil. You know, make 
smaller cuts than you need to. If you're if you're apprehensive about the project, make smaller cuts than you need to. You know, again, it's the corners that you need to work on. So just make smaller cuts than you need to, and you can always just come back with a jigsaw and you know make larger cuts later until you have the thing just fit like a glove. Uh, and then the rest is going to be in the hands of the sander which will be come up in the video here very shortly.